I like to compare a bit uh, singles B with uh, honey B, but uh, before before I uh, explain further, uh, basically any uh, pure honey or authentic honey, they are all good. They have uh, they are they have benefit. Okay, they have. I like to some people uh, uh, compare with manuka manuka honey. So the manuka honey, the name come from uh, basically not from the bee, but main, mainly from the flower that they go and pick the the nectar. Okay, so uh, the man manuka honey basically is collected by uh, honey bee or apis. So in in the nectar, they contain uh, active ingredient uh, called al dye. Uh, dihydroacetone okay maybe some of your chemical are very uh, familiar with the, the term okay and also they uh, in the same time uh, they they collect uh, wax to build the comb okay S uh, some some uh, of the bee also co collect nectar and then they store the honey and then in 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 time the honey will convert the the uh, compound Convert into methyl gly uh, methyl gly glyosyl glyosyl okay uh, MGL isn't it MGL something the, the acronym okay so uh, the manuka okay it has an active uh, compound that can help uh, wound healing they don't have that uh, what they call uh, non peroxide peroxidic action means that peroxidic mean is like corrosive but the, the, the ingredient in uh, manuka honey they, when you put they don't like eat everything okay so basically they're eating uh, reduce the infection and uh, uh, promote the healing and they don't have that non peroxidic uh, uh, <coughs> action or effect Okay, that is uh, basically ma ma manuka manuka honey. So uh, they they basically collect nectar and and wax. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, stingless bee stingless bee is a resin bee resin resin uh, resin. Okay, basically they collect propolis to make the propolis pot. Okay, resin. Okay, by definition, it's a plant material. Uh, it, uh, there are many types of resin. Uh, there, there, there may be like rubbery, rubbery type. They can be um, uh, like crystal type. So basically, they 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 collect three resin and mix with bee wax and their saliva. Okay and bring back to their half and mix it up and they build their honey pots okay they build their honey pots from from the resin okay the, from the resin the they also pick okay collect uh, nectar and store the nectar inside the propolis so over the time so the uh, ingredient in the propolis fuse with the uh, honey Okay, fused with the honey, and that makes uh, what uh, that, that what makes the stingless bee much more special. So the the, in, the propolis contain a lot of antioxidant. Okay, uh, a lot of uh, antioxidant, which is very. Um, I will explain later what the uh, uh, antioxidant which. Okay. Uh, and then some some few uh, important finding lah, okay. So apart apart from ha, ha, uh, nectar, they also collect uh, uh, pollen and also put inside the pot, okay. And then uh, when it full, it become uh, bee bread, okay. Okay, these are uh, so the propolis. Uh, full of antioxidant or flavonoid, okay, flavonoid and phen phenolic compounds, uh, and these are antioxidant, eh? okay. That uh, what, I, what I, I have explained uh, is because the, the, that what make them uh, much sour. So the, those are the benefit like flavonoid is anti-inflammatory, antiviral, 
Uh, and then uh, they are good for internal healing. As compared to uh, honeybee, they're good for external. But uh, as the study uh, suggests they are better in internal healing. Okay. Uh, and if, uh, they have also have phenol for phenolic. Uh, and this is the key point, the latest uh, finding. Okay, if you take manuka honey, okay, like two ml every day, it can cause diabetes because the the amount of sugar uh, uh, sugar is the compound of the sugar is different. Okay, but singles B uh, contain tetrahulose. You can Google. This is the um, I think the one of the important recent finding tetrahulose. It's a rare sugar. Uh, which uh, rare sugar with low glycemic index GI, okay, and basically uh, this is not a new compound. Okay, big big company try to synthesize this one because if they can manage to synthesize this one, they can can have an alternative sugar, uh, sweetener. Okay, but it was recently found that. Singles B has this, okay, this, this uh, compound, uh, and uh, yeah, it has been proven by by testimony uh, people who, who with diabetes they are okay having uh, taking singles B, but of course if you take anything you have to take in portion lah. You cannot take without without control lah. Okay. <coughs> so uh, other. Okay, uh, this is the market value. Okay, uh, first I have explained about the uh, uh, high antioxidant. Okay, of and also in the industry, forestry industry, they are best pollinator uh, because they are they are smaller in size. They can go to smaller flower, and when they Attached to a flower, the flower will you know not fall down easily. So as compared to honeybee, maybe they go to the flower and the flower also go down. So the the number success pollination rate will go go down. Eh? Honeybee, they are much uh, uh, better in pollination. Uh, okay, and also contribute fifty six million to the agriculture. Uh, they help pollination. Okay. <coughs> And there are other, other uh, product, derivative product from stingless bee, like they you can uh, make uh, soap, or you can make uh, serum, you can make uh, uh, from the bee bread, you can make a replacement meal. They have been st they are studying how to convert the bee bread into like protein, sh protein. For athlete and baby food and so on, okay. And also the the propolis, as I explained, uh, they are extracting, okay, the uh, the the propolis from the I mean uh, the material from the main material and then, then turn it into like uh, uh, liquid, okay. There there is this available in the market if you found uh, f uh, find uh, try to find it, okay. Uh, so the, the current scenario uh, price in Malaysia, the the market price can be around one hundred twenty per kilo, okay, uh, and maybe double if the uh, amount of water or moisture is reduced. That that is one biggest problem in stingless bee. They are like watery, watery. Me, they have a lot of moisture as compared to Apis B, okay. Uh, especially if we are in the tropical area, lah. We we get a lot of rain, so that's why the moisture is high. But uh, basically, uh, the the problem uh, make worse when you, the you know farmers directly bottle the the honey into uh, and then uh, go straight to the shelf to sell. Before uh, without uh, reducing the the moisture, 
the what happen when the moisture is high okay uh, when you harvest directly when you harvest okay from the pot uh, the enzyme inside the uh, honey become uh, active when it exposed to air and also to the environment or the ambient temperature okay so we need to reduce that uh, reaction so how to reduce you have to uh, remove the uh, moisture or reduce the percentage okay so the, it can be reduced by using several methods but the common one is using a uh, uh, heat 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 by heating but heating you cannot i, I will ex let, if you have question i will, will explain that uh, heating you cannot use uh, direct heating this must be done uh, in, uh, with a certain uh, method uh, and then also the temperature cannot be more than 40 degrees Celsius. The thing is that when, when the ferment, fermentation happen, it will reduce the quality and then the taste will be, will be much different. Okay, Maybe if you don't have the time to remove it quickly when you harvest, one thing you can do, you put instantly into the uh, fridge, not the top one, the bottom one. So to so to avoid fermentation, uh, so the the temperature is low, okay. Until until you have time to remove the water, you can, okay. Even <coughs> some of that I consume myself. I just keep in the fridge, okay. So the value comparison. Uh, uh, these are the, the what have been rich and also the the, the potential. So you can see. The, the demand okay demand is high but the production is low okay and also in Malaysia we, there are two standard uh, for stainless B one is for the honey and another one is for the farming or the beekeeping uh, there are two standard okay, first standard is the, the standard of the stainless B honey uh, how to manage how to uh, process and what's the criteria second one is the uh, beekeeping okay beekeeping mean what are the standard okay uh, for example what or how many uh, how many hive you should put in the farm okay how do you for example how do you harvest okay how do you make sure the <coughs> predator Okay, uh, are far away from the honey and so on. But the to me the uh, standard is good, but the challenges is how to deliver, how to translate the standard to 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 farmers. You know, 